Okay, I've got a new tool here. Hopefully it's cool. And I just got it, so you're gonna see it when I see it. You already know what it is because it's in the description of the video. Uh, but I'm gonna open it up and I uh, figure why not do an unboxing because those are fun. Um, so here we go. Got my trusty box cutter, cutting the box. Uh, I'm, I'll try to be careful. Totally doing this wrong now, I know. All right, let's see. Oh. I think I'm going to be pulling it out from the top here. Hopefully it came undamaged. I don't know if I'll post this if it's damaged. Here's the invoice. Uh, all right. Oh, and there should be some strings in here too. All right. It comes with a case, which is really nice. Especially, it's one of those um, not soft bags. It's a soft bag-ish, but it's actually a hard bag, but it feels like a soft bag. There should be some extra strings in there. Okay, you can see it's from Gold Tone. And like I said, I haven't seen this yet. I think, I think I played one of these at the NAM show one year. Um, and I got other version of this, which I've used a little bit, not very much. I don't know how much I'll use this one, but I've got a project coming up that I think it'll be perfect for, so that's why I ordered it. Um, and let's see. Okay, truss rod and a little baby Allen wrench. I wonder why is it? That's interesting. Okay, so here it is. Oh, it's for the it's for the saddle. Oh, that's nice actually because you know. Oh, good. They put the strings inside, and they included a strap. That's awesome. Oh no, that's for the case. <laughs> like oh, cool strap. Yeah, that's for the case. Well, they included a cord though. Cable. I don't know why they do that because I'm never going to use those cheap plastic cables. Okay, it needs to be tuned. So I'm going to tune it and then we'll check it out together. But basically what this is, is a 12 string mandolin. I have the six string version of that. Um, but the, the problem with that is that uh, the you're not really playing two strings when you play it. So it doesn't really sound much like a mandolin. It just sounds like a tiny guitar, which is cool. Uh, the other cool thing about it is because you can see the cable, it has a pickup in it. And that's where it can get really fun too. And we're gonna sh I'm gonna show you that. The cool thing about the little truss rod, I mean the little uh, Allen wrench, is that you can use it to adjust the, the saddle height, which is always so hard when you've got, especially when you've got 12 strings of weight pressing down on it, uh, it's really hard to adjust the, the action. So this way you can probably do it with the Allen wrench, but we'll see. I, I probably won't do that at first. Let's let it sit. So I'm going to tune this up right now and then we'll, we'll jam up. Continue to fine tune it as I talk. Um, one thing that's interesting about it is is the uh, so it's six courses. It's six pairs of strings. So ultimately twelve strings, twelve tuners. Um, and the bottom three courses are tuned in octaves, and the top three courses are tuned in unison. So it's kind of like a pseudo twelve string. On a twelve string, the bottom four strings. Are tuned in octaves and the top two strings or top two courses are tuned in unison. So this kind of has a 12 stringy sound because also kind of like a Greek bazooki. Um, I might be tempted to a mandolin does not have octave strings, it's all unison. So if I really wanted this to sound like a mandolin, I might be tempted, and I don't know if the, see the saddle is not set up, I mean the nut is not set up to do this. I would have to change out the nut. But if I were to try to do that, I would want unison strings all the way across, and that would be more mandolin-like. So in some ways, Courses don't really sound like a mandolin, but on top, I'm 
I'm just playing G major pentatonic. Um, it does kind of sound like a mandolin. So um, the thing that'll make it, it'll be nice is to have um, something that if I really have some complex mandolin parts that I need to read for a, a, a movie or a game or something, um, I might pull this out and use it instead so that I don't have to think so hard. <laughs> Especially if the parts are very jazzy or if they are uh, uh, very guitar-like. Uh, the great thing about I love man playing mandolin and I, I keep it tuned in fifths like it's supposed to be. Uh, you can play phrases and and lines, melodic lines that would be very difficult on guitar are actually pretty easy on mandolin. So for a lot of things, I love I love the way the mandolin's tuned. But there are times where I need to read something really fast. I don't have to, I have to turn it around fast, or I need to side read something, and uh, this might come in real handy for that. Uh, it's kind of an old trick. A lot of session players back in the day would tune everything, every instrument they had. It, well, it doesn't matter if it was a mandolin or a banjo or a dobro or a charango, they would tune it like a guitar. I don't do that. I tend to keep it tuned like it's supposed to be tuned. So, okay, let's go check this out. Let's go plug it in and see what it sounds like, okay? As far as like strumming and everything, it's gonna take a minute to get to used to. delay and reverb. Okay, let me let me pull up a gain sound because I know you're gonna be like, well, what about distortion? Let's see what it sounds like. <laughs> okay, check this out. which is going to be the case, but that's pretty crazy, huh? <laughs> I don't know if I'd use that sound as much, but I definitely like kind of clean, effective things. <laughs> some time to get used to. Uh, it's a little wider than a mandolin, but it's exactly probably 50% wider and it has 50% more strings. So it's really no, not much different than a mandolin. It's beautiful workmanship though. I love the, um, the finish, the kind of tobacco sunburst, which is really cool. Kind of reminds me of old Les Pauls. The, uh, uh, the neck is nice. It's made in China. Uh, the neck is nice. It's got the, the cool old kind of almost clues and tuners, like the vintage or Telecaster tuners, what were those made of? They kind of look like the, the old Strat Telecaster tuners. 
Um, the other thing nice about this this neck is that it's not a very um, sharp um, kind of A-shaped neck, which I really don't like. That's one of the downsides to most mandolins. Is after after a while I start to because I tend to squeeze too hard. I tend to bruise the the uh, meat of my thumb. And it just hurts to play after after I've been playing mandolin for a couple hours. It's like, oh man, my thumb is just killing me. So this doesn't have that. This is more shaped like a normal neck. Uh, so it's not not nearly as A shaped. So anyway, so this is the gold tone 12 string mandolin. <laughs> Kind of thing too, very very folk. Um, I'm going to use it for kind of a movie score, almost kind of a charango sound, kind of a Gustavo kind of vibe. And I, I actually have to get a strap for it so that I can, I, I don't have to hold up the neck. The neck is a little bit heavy because of all those tuners. So it's a little bit neck heavy, the balance of it is such. Um, usually when I'm playing, um, in the studio, I have a footrest that I set up to be really high, and then I, you know, can adjust it obviously. But then I'll put it under whichever foot I'm gonna, whichever knee I want to play uh, on, and that allows me to kind of support the instrument and not have to worry about the the weight of the neck. And of course, it doesn't help to have a tuner on there. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. Uh, please feel free to comment. Um, I try I, I try to uh, get to almost all the comments if I can and um, yeah check these out I'll put a link in um, I'll put a link in the description so that you can go to the website and check this out okay all right take care bye bye